Let's take a look at the new Amazon Comics digital web experience as the replacement for Comixology.com. So as part of this whole Amazon takeover and complete merger of Comixology, one of the worst aspects of the entire thing is that Comixology.com has gone away. And I personally, as much as it had some areas for improvement, I guess, let's put it that way, I think Comixology.com was a really, really excellent website overall. When you consider how it presented series, searching, creators, and being able to see things like, is an individual issue in a collected edition, accessing your entire library, the ability to archive and unarchive uh, books, the web reader, and all of that put together made for a really great digital comics experience. Well, now, of course, that's all gone. And what we're left with is a fairly pedestrian Amazon shopping experience that is very incomplete, uh, incapable, and for the most part, just entirely wrong for presenting comic books in the way that a comic book reader, comic book collector, etc., would like to see them. So let's just take a look through the website, see what we actually do have in terms of capability and functionality, talk about where there's just a plethora of areas for improvement, and, and do a bit of a review of the new online digital comics experience. So first of all, if you go to your browser and you type in comicsology.com, it no longer goes there, and instead you come here. So this is the new landing page, it's, it's on Amazon.com, the comics, manga, and graphics novel section with this first initial landing. So right at the top we have this scrolling banner, uh, which not surprisingly is advertising Amazon services and capabilities. We see scrolls for Comixology Originals, Comixology Unlimited, Amazon Prime Reading Unlimited, Kindle Unlimited, and so on. Um, these are all clickable clickable banners that go to different sections of the web page most of which are available off of the top menu bar kind of anyway and from there there's a variety of featured items uh, featured originals explore manga included with your prime membership you you can see kind of see what the focus right off the bat is right it's not really about comic books and series and and celebrating comics and collecting it's about selling you some services it's about getting you getting you to subscribe to Prime Reading, Kindle Unlimited, Comixology Unlimited, not even taking into consideration how incredibly disjointed it is to have three different subscription levels to get access to comic books now from Amazon. Although, of course, they've operated it that way for a while. It is what it is, just uh, more banners, right? Included with Prime Membership, Trending with Comixology Unlimited, and more new and noteworthy graphic novels, this week's featured releases. And I can scroll through these to see, you know, see more um, on each strip, books for you, and just kind of banner after banner after banner, and section after section after section. It is what it is. So that's that's the main landing element of the website now. So we also have, just going left to right here, we have the new releases section, and we see more of the same kind of structure. The, a lot of content UIs now this is what everybody's doing. Of course, if you use Netflix app on one of your devices or, or anything, you get these strips, strips of suggestions, strips of content. And so new releases is basically the same thing here. Uh, this week's featured releases, new originals, new manga, just different categories, essentially, of new stuff. All new releases for a given time frame. We can look by publisher. This is actually quite nice, this part of it. And there's not a whole lot that you can do on the web page by publisher. And I really, really hope to see more of that. Um, we'll talk in some more detail about that coming up. But this is at least a nice way to look at new stuff. I guess I won't complain too much about the fact that some individual new books are $4.99 a piece. But I'm an old timer, I guess, when it comes to these things. Go back to all publishers. Let's see, I don't think... Okay, I can go to different weeks, so that's kind of nice. You can scroll back in time, but let's see if we can go forward. Cool. So it does show you, actually, what books are coming 
um, in a given given week ahead. I should note as well, should have mentioned this up front, I am browsing this on my uh, MacBook Pro 16 inch M1 Pro laptop. We're capturing off of the 16 inch built-in retina screen and we are surfing in Safari in Mac OS. So that's new releases, comic deals. Um, one of the big things that everybody's, I think, waiting with bated breath to see is, is will Comixology and Amazon offer sales to the same level and frequency and depth that Comixology has always offered them. So far, it seems to be the case, but I suppose time, time will tell. Notice, though, that the, the presentation of the page kind of flipped as we went to the deals section. This looks more like an Amazon web page where we have strips and filters and such on the left-hand side. And then we still have those content strips on the right-hand side as well. But we see the, the same categories. If you visited the old Comixology sales page, you had a little bit kind of, of a similar view with different strips for the different publishers or, or sales umbrellas that were being offered. Same thing here. So I can look through these with the arrows left and right. I can click see more and it'll take me to this more kind of complete list. I do like how it shows you up front when a given sale ends so you can plan your purchases accordingly. Notice as well that the presentation of books focuses very strongly on subscriptions. Kindle edition, how much does it cost? Well, zero dollars if you have Kindle Unlimited, available instantly, $3.99 otherwise. But there's not a whole lot of, of information here either. I own Saga. Um, I own all of the books that are currently available, but in this view, I don't know that. So one of the best things about Comixology, particularly with sales, is you could bring up a grid of all of the issues that were available um, in a given sales umbrella, and you could cart them, and you could check out once. No option to do that in here, no carting. And so um, I pity the person that wants to go in and buy a couple hundred issues of a, of a series one by one by one when that series is on sale at you know, 99 cents a piece it's a big enough of a pain if you want to buy all the graphic novel collected editions if there's you know 10 or more or 20 20 of them or whatever so unfortunately not very great hopefully a cart system comes hopefully more information comes so they can put a flag on these books at this level it tells you whether you you know whether you actually own the thing or not so uh, right now there is a pretty good quantity of sales this is basically akin to the to the type of sales and the amount of sales that we would see uh, from from comiXology directly i think the prices are in line with what would have been offered directly on comiXology site as it is so hopefully that continues to stick and be the case uh, the third banner over or the third option on the on the top banner over here is comiXology unlimited I am currently not subscribed to this, so I can't fully show it off. Um, I plan to do a separate talk on what I might actually be doing for digital comics going forward and whether I may or may not end up subscribing to Comixology Unlimited. I think I mentioned in my prior video, and I'll state again, I think this is actually, if you're going to buy digital comics and you're going to buy them from Amazon and Comixology, you might as well just sign up for this. It's six bucks a month. And amongst the benefits that you get, right, access to all these books, original content, is you get these members only discounts. And what that ends up equating to is most publishers give you about 10 to 15% off any books that you purchase. And um, from my prior experience as a subscriber, it applies to sales prices as well, further serving to bring the sales prices down. So if you're reading even any, even a minimal quantity of books in a given month, uh, following and purchasing a minimal quantity of books in a given month, you're gonna save more than the six bucks after you factor in the 10 uh, or 10 to 15 percent discounts of purchasing and then of course you have more access to be able to sam maybe sample some things without having to buy them and and so it's to me it's kind of a no-brainer at this price point if they turn this thing into a 9.99 or a 14.99 dollar service or whatever then then we'll see of course they got to get some of their marketing copy upgraded though because here we have 40,000 comics and down here we have 30,000 <laughs> 30,000 titles in any case there's a lot of books so you get to you get to enjoy quite a bit more the tier is essentially that prime reading gives you some quantity of stuff kindle unlimited gives you more and then comics comics unlimited gives you the most 
uh, from a subscription perspective. Next tab over here, we have Comixology Originals. So books published only, of course, through the platform, including some content from some major publishers. Um, I can't speak to any of the quality of anything in here. I've never actually read a Comixology original. They're really pushing the manga. So you see manga kind of uh, sectioned out in the original, the landing page banners and so on, and it has its own section here. Uh, again, maybe I guess rightfully so. Uh, very popular uh, subsection of comic books in general. And then lastly, uh, graphic novels. I, this one kind of confuses me, but uh, so be it. Graphic novels showing 1 to 12 of over 60,000 results. Uh, yeah, and so down here you can parse and filter. So I wanted to look for Marvel, perhaps, and I wanted to say uh, given series. They don't really have the ability to kind of search by, very easily search by character, search by. Uh, so oddly enough, I clicked on graphic novels and then I filtered and now I'm seeing single issues. But in any case, there's graphic novels. You know, one of the things that I, I think has really kind of been the case, and I, I'm, my gut is telling me that we're going to see more of this, is I, I believe that we will see less and less of the uh, presence or the, uh, the primariness of, of reading, comic book reading, being the single issue. Comixology uh, still, I think, uh, held the single issue in higher regard. But this Amazon webpage makes navigating and accessing stuff just so terribly difficult that the larger the quantity of books that you want to try to purchase, access, and manage, the more unruly the whole thing gets, at least until you get over to the Comixology reading app on your device or, or, or whatnot. Um, I, I think it almost feels like it, other than serving the purposes of releasing the stories in more irregular cadence, I think more and more like the, 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 the concept of the single issue in comic book dumb, particularly digital digital comic books, and with this type of merger is going away. Like you, you're, they want you reading graphic novels. They want you reading collected editions and the packaging together of, of stories and issues into collected editions of various sizes from the, the, the regular like five to six issue cadence to up to these big compendiums and digital omnibus releases and so on. Uh, I just, I, I think that's the way we're going. So we'll see how that evolves with, with time. So let's take a look at a couple things here. Um, I'm really still confused that I'm in graphic novels and I'm looking at a lot of single issues. Let's take a look at Saga. And if I click down here, if I click up top, of course, it's going to take me to a single issue and allow me to buy that, perhaps access it through one of the unlimited services if I have them. But if I go back, notice it says down here, book 55 of 57. This is the series view. I'm very, very happy that at least they tried to develop something that looks even rudimentarily like a series view. And so you can see here, as I scroll through, it has the issues, it has them in order, numbered, uh, creators, synopsis, and so on. Here it finally tells you whether you own this item or not. And so I can go through a series and, and this is what I have. Again, no carding system. It'd be so nice to be able to just sweep through one of these and say add, 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 and then check out at the end. There, there are some other options. You can, you know, you can subscribe. And let me go to something that I actually don't own. Let's look at Thor 2020 series Thor. So you can buy the whole series. Buy now with one click Kindle price. There's not really a discount involved for doing this. It's just the sum of all the prices of the single issues. But they do have some other options, right? Buy the first three, the first five, the first 10, or all 24 available. Some of that looks a little arbitrary, of course, but at least that's your only alternative to buying a series uh, in lieu of in lieu of carts. Um, again, I can buy single issues. At least they have one click, right? That, that, I guess that's nice. You don't have to go through a checkout process buy with one click. You want to buy 50 issues individually, one click, one click, one click. It, it's better than better than having to, to fully click through. But in any case, you can see quite a bit of this series is on Comixology Unlimited. Again, 40,000 issues is a lot. Granted, it covers all kinds of different publishers and such, but I think that's pretty close to the number of books like on, on Marvel Unlimited, for example. So you're getting access to a lot of stuff for your $5.99. 
But this is the single issues. If I were to look for the collected editions, I could say go to a single issue. And if I look down, so one of the things I really liked about the Comixology webpage is if you were to, if you were looking at a single issue, down on the bottom left it would tell you this book is packaged into this collected edition, and you could get to it, you could get to it that way. So let's try a search. Let's search for Thor 2020 VOL and try to find some volumes. So here we go. So in this case, if I look at the at the series, we see that there are three collected editions released for that 24 issue series. Same thing, I can buy them all one click and this would get me up to issue 18 with the with the annual. They do do a pretty good job in their metadata, I found from looking at uh, a variety of books that I've looked at so far, of telling you what issues are in a collected edition. Honestly, Comixology's descriptions didn't always do a great job of that. That should be the first thing that you see. If I'm looking at a collected edition, is what the heck is in the collected edition? If it's not in the synopsis and the description, that's real, real terrible metadata management. But in any case, I think I think they've done a better a better job of that here. So again, similar options to subscribe, buy with one click, or buy the individual ones, and I can see, well, in this case, interestingly, issue one is in Kindle Unlimited or volume one and volume two and volume three are in comiXology unlimited i don't know they need to do a better job with this i noticed on the other page too it, it put the comiXology unlimited banner here it's not doing that but this one shows the kindle unlimited banner developers in the digital comics storefront section of amazon have a lot of work to do and of course there is no facility to read your books there is no facility to very nicely look at what you own from an overview series perspective, there is no ability to archive and unarchive and all of the other features, the library management, library access, and so on that you used to get from comicsology.com. An utter, utter shame. Um, one of the one of the key compelling features that I found of Comixology in general was the web reader. Um, it's really cool. You have a big monitor, a 27-inch monitor. I, I'm sitting here in front of a 43 behind my actual laptop screen. And if I wanted to sit at my desk and read some comics, the Comixology web reader, man, it was awesome. These huge pages, two page spread and such on that web reader on comicsology.com, syncing my read progress and so on, it is just, just, just great. Marvel Unlimited and some of the other readers falter very, very poorly with their web management and their web, uh, web access. So just a shame. Hopefully that's something that comes back. Although is it going to come back? How long are we going to have to wait for it? Uh, this is just this is just such a pale shadow of what it used to be, and it is just so incredibly hard to find something. It, I'm looking uh, looking for maybe a disparate X Men series. I just got results, all kinds of different stuff here: X Men Red, X Men by Jerry Dugan, Uncanny X Men Masterworks single issues, volumes, it's like, oh no. Somebody at Amazon, hopefully in a position of, of management or strategic marketing power, or somebody on the development team needs to step up and say, look, comic collectors, comic book readers, everything comic book dumb is based on series, not this disparate search in this like single entity list. If you're gonna present me results like this, at least just show me the series and then let me click into the series and let me see the issues and the volumes. It's terrible. And I really liked too, and they carried it over in the Comixology iOS apps and such where if you go into something that you own, you can see volumes and omnibus and single issues. It's all separate, but you can't get to that same information here. Like maybe in some cases I want to buy the single issues, maybe in other cases, I want to buy the collected editions and there's no easy way to kind of go back and forth to understand the relationship between them. So what do you think? Is this turning you off to digital comics uh, entirely? Um, there's so much kind of hate and, and negative feedback about what's going on. And I, and I think in this case, you know, sometimes it's, it's clickbait or sensationalistic. In this case, it's completely warranted. Um, Amazon took something that was really great kind of for the niche 
and took it away, tried to take it away from the niche and just wrecked it. They, they neutered it. They took away too much capability. They tried to introduce too much of their own DNA into something that already had its own DNA and structure and presentation and such. And yeah, it's just, it's just a shame. I was, I've been thinking more and more about coming back to Comixology, to spending more money, to buy issues and read issues. And I've got a bunch of reasons why that's the case. And so the timeliness of this transition, oh, it's just turning me off, but we'll see. So let me know what you think about it in the comments. Uh, what features of the Comixology webpage did you really like and appreciate and use that were lost? Are you finding anything in this new Comixology web experience that was actually an improvement from Comixology.com? Uh, so sound off in the comments. Let me know what you think. Let me know what other digital comics related talk and coverage you'd like to see on the channel. Thanks for watching. Look down in the description below for some ways to support the channel. Please like and subscribe and come on back for more.